And it's out of bounds. Now we'll see what the side judge says. He says out at the eight-yard line. Let's go old school there. That's absolutely a great coffin corner punt. Someone's put some time in working on that, hasn't it? Seems he? like every year these guys get better and better. It's amazing how they can command that football through the air. Yeah, they used to actually practice with hula hoops where they place them and try and put them there. Now a lot of guys use barrels on the sidelines to try and put the football in one. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he is out of bounds, able to get it across the 20-yard line. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. Now they can breathe a little easier, some room to operate as they've got it first and 10 now out past the 20. Running left, here's Mitchell. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. Absolutely no trouble moving the ball on the ground on the first two plays from scrimmage. Absolutely. You know what I really like? Same guy carrying the ball in both plays. And what drives me crazy is when a back has a nice run, he taps his helmet to go out of the game. I would want the ball again and again and again because you've established really nice momentum, and now you're seeing the field really well. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. Even the greats in this game, and, and he certainly qualifies as one of them. They're going to have trouble if they continue to throw into double coverage. He better be careful. Throwing into too much double coverage might have a couple of them picked off. They'll try and pick it up with Mitchell. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. Oh, a big decision here early. Look at this. They're going to go for it on their own side of the field. They're indeed going for it as they look to throw, eluding the pressure right. And he will be out of bounds here on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. No score after one on EA Sports. Second quarter now from Baltimore. It's the Ravens in So a bold call, but this drive will forge on. First and 10 after the fourth down conversion. A handoff from Mitchell running left. And he's got room. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the third. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. On the handoff, Mitchell. before it crosses over out of bounds. 64 yards for him on the ground so far tonight as he has been terrific in this first half. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Right back to Mitchell here. Nate Hobbs there to bring him down. This is second and eight. A give here to Mitchell. And he takes it inside the 10 to the 8 before he's out of bounds. Give him 8 yards there. Still a few inches to go, though, as it'll be third down at about the length of the football. Jackson looking to throw on third. And he is caught. Touchdown! to coast and finish the drive off with six points. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. From his end zone, here comes Carter. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled at the 15. The Las Vegas offense ready to start this next drive. They'll be looking to match that touchdown from a moment ago. 7-0 is the score as they begin with a first down. Trying to get it to Adams, but it's intercepted. Kyle Hamilton picks it, and he's able to get it back to right around the 27. 
The Ravens take over first and 10 at the 27 yard line. Real quick, ready? You are at, you are at. Now run with Mitchell. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. It's a loss of a yard. Brings up second and 11 at the 28 yard line. From the gun, Jackson. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over him that time, and it's going to lead to third down. The turnover put them in great field position. They don't want to squander it with third down coming up. No, not at all. And you know what else you do? You make your defense mad. Yeah. They got you the football, gave you a great opportunity. You got to cash in and get some points. Bulldozes past him. And he will reach the eight-yard line before going down. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up the first and goal. They'll run with Mitchell. Take it into the end zone for the Ravens touchdown. An eight-yard touchdown run. And the Ravens go up by two touchdowns. Tucker with the extra point. And it's now 14 to nothing. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. From his end zone, here comes Carter. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. The offense for Las Vegas about set to begin the drive. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. Well, he certainly thought he had a window to push that ball downfield, but as soon as he released the throw, the corner was there to slam that window shut. On second down, Jacobs. And he's got some space here. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. 157 to go in this first half on EA Sports. On first down, they go with Jacobs again. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. The Raiders try to move quickly, try to get everybody back to the line. Throwing on second down. Here's O'Connell. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Here's O'Connell. And that one to the right side and incomplete. Offense is moving a little bit, out and back on their heels, but they're on a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. Back to the running game with Jacobs. And he's going to take it down to about the 35 here. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Now it's O'Connell. He finds his man complete. It's Jacobs. They'll wind up losing a yard on the play. And that's going to bring up the fourth down. I wonder if the angles that the tacklers came from on that play. They secured inside, took away the cutback. The sideline's there, so you can only go so far outside. And they were able to close in and tackle him for a loss. Yeah, they use your boy over there, the 12th man. Sammy Sideline, right? Sammy Sideline. You know something? He tackles pretty well, too. He's tougher than an airport stake. O'Connell here on fourth down. That one taken in by Adams. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts. 
as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Both sides were holding their breath there on that fourth down play, and the offense can breathe a sigh of relief. And both knew exactly where the first down markers were. You know the defense is trying to guard those sticks and try and keep people in front. But some... And he goes down. The Ravens able to get to him. Now the Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts. As the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. Now then, after the sack, it'll be interesting to see what they have planned for second and 23. Back to throw, O'Connell. That one's complete out to Michael Mayer. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. Here's O'Connell looking to throw it. And he can't escape, and down he goes. Now here's a timeout as they're going to get it with eight seconds remaining here in the first half. So look at this. Here's the field goal unit coming out. And he is going to need to bomb this one. They spot it on the midfield stripe. So it is a 60-yard attempt here. The kick by Carlson is good. Charles, even as long field goals become more and more common, this is still a very rarefied air. Only just over 20 field goals have been kicked from 60 yards or further, and you can add his name to the list now. And as calm as he tried to present himself, there's no doubt there were some nerves as he lined up to attempt that kick. But once the ball was snapped, he just swept the leg, and boom, over the crossbar. It's going on, baby! It's not! Final play of the half here. It's Jackson flushed out right. And this one is incomplete. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, getting set for quarter number three here. And how about this line out of the locker room? An onside kick attempt. The Ravens ready to receive it. And they've got the lead as well as we resume play in the second half. And this one recovered by the hands team for the Ravens. I know they're down, but starting the third quarter there with the onside kick, what'd you think? Well, I think that they're looking at it as we may not have as many possessions in this game as we want. There may be that sense and that feel that they've got to go ahead and make something happen, steal a possession, try and steal some points, and get themselves right back in a position to try and win the game. Second half begins with a carry by Mitchell. And he works his way forward to pick up four yards there. Second down. And now they're in the hurry up. Right back to Mitchell on second down. And he's going to be met at about the 43. Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game. And while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take him a short, steady burst. That is not going to be any help as they dump him behind the line of scrimmage. This offense converted once on fourth down earlier. Now they're out there again to try once more. Now on fourth down here, that pass knocked away and incomplete. John Harbaugh not afraid to go for it. This time doesn't work out. And the Raider D, they get the football back. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. Last time out, you remember their drive stalled, but thanks to their kicker, booted a long field goal to at least get him three. Now here they'll try to do better and find the end zone. And in our experience, how much fun is it for coaches to know that they've got a kicker who can nail it from long distance? Now the hard part is, as an offensive play caller, 
you don't want that in your head too much where you're relying on it. And he goes out and gets the job done for them. But I'm quite sure he would be content to just kick extra points from here on out. Yeah, absolutely no question. I think his teammates would be okay with him just kicking the extra points as well. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now O'Connell. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Jacobs. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. The pick up there, five yards. To throw here, O'Connell. His throw incomplete. So it looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. Well, we're in Baltimore. Third quarter action, second and ten. They will run out of the gun with Jacobs. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They need to make up some ground, and they did. If they want a first, they need to get the football to the 32 here on third down. And O'Connell now to throw. to the sideline and pulled in. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Solid gain of 18 and a Raider first down. I don't care how many times we say it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. His back has been a dependable safety back all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered. Just unable to connect, so the play results in no game. Play number nine on the drive coming up, and they need nine yards on third down. Back to throw. O'Connell. He finds his man complete. It's Jacobs. And he'll be brought down shy of the first down marker at the 11. And they'll send the tight end in motion here. They go with Jacobs. And he is not going anywhere. They stop him for no gain. He needed two. He barely got back to the line of scrimmage. And this 10-play drive winds up yielding nothing. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. A kind of a lucky break on the prior drive, Charles. The turnover on downs that the offense had didn't come back to bite them after the other side, their defense came through, was able to hold them without any points. I would agree with you, partner. A little bit of a lucky break indeed, but you know what they'd say to us. No luck, just pure skill. We rose to the challenge, and we didn't permit a score. That's how we roll. Well, I'm kind of curious, Charles, if they might temper their aggressiveness now offensively if they get in that fourth down spot again. Yeah, one would think so, but maybe because they held them, they might go for it again. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. I think he's as fine with that incompletion as a quarterback can be, in all honesty. He avoided his first sack of the game, and he did have a chance of connecting for yardage, just unable to on that throw. And Audible here to get a new look. Fourth down, here's Jackson. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. A surprising move to go for it predictably, at least somewhat predictably. It doesn't pay off. And now, goodness, possession's going to go over right at the 10-yard line. Renfro, the motion man. Throwing on first down, O'Connell. 
And that is incomplete. And to put it mildly, this is a tough spot defensively. They have to come right back out and defend their red zone. But how about that good first step towards forcing them to settle for at least three points? I think they're also thinking bigger right now. Imagine being able to stop them totally and change the momentum. Running straight ahead is Jacobs. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. 71 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. So a decent deficit at this stage in the second half. Four down territory? No doubt about it. There's not a chance that he hasn't looked ahead and said, okay, if we gain yardage on this play, this is what we'll do going forward. If we lose yardage. And he'll take it into the end zone for a later touchdown. Josh Jacobs, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Raiders are able to get a score back in the final stages of this third quarter. So it takes them just three plays here to find the end zone. And you remember, of course, this was all set up by their defense. Yeah, they got the stop on fourth down. So I imagine the offense said to their defense, thank you very much for this great starting field position. And like you said, three plays later, they're in the end zone. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. Adams, the man in motion left. They'll try to run it with Jacobs. And he'll be taken down after a minimal pickup, and that will take us to the end of quarter number three. We have played three quarters. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And now to kick this one away. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line. So bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. They've been asleep for a little while on this side of the football, Charles, and the score is just a one-score game now. Haven't had any points this half. What gives? Let's go old school here. All right, let's get back to the basics. Get back to running the football. High percentage throws. Find the guys that eat pressure and make plays for you and make sure they touch it. Escaping the pressure right. And that throw behind his man. He missed him incomplete. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and give the football right back because your friend, Old Momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trek to the opposite side, and all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. On third down, Jackson. And a throw there going to be incomplete. Critical play in this football game because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. It has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. They'll try and throw for it with Jackson. Flush to his right. John Harbaugh not afraid to go for it this time. Doesn't work out. And the Raiders with the football now in excellent field position. So that's a decision that could loom pretty large here. They go for it on fourth down, but come up empty. But I actually like the call. And the reason? It shows me a head coach has faith in his team overall. First on the offensive side, thinking they can pick it up, but also knowing that he has faith in his defense that if they don't, they'll go out there and stop him. I like the confidence he showed. Nice chunk of yards up first down. It really opens up your options for what you want to do on second. You go right back to him and hope he explodes or sucker the defense in before throwing over the top. From the 21, here's second and six. Play action. Now Connell. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Tell you what, partner, after the ice is down, he's going to be a nice long silk in a hot tub after this one. He's been under duress the entire game. And once again, hit as he throws. Fortunate that one wound up incomplete. Okay. 
One of the bigger plays in the game thus far, and the crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. Looking to throw. O'Connell. And that's incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yes, yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They give him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. So a big one coming now for Daniel Carlson. He hit his first, this one from 38. Carlson able to put this one through. So the starting field position was terrific following the surprising turnover on downs, but the end result, only three points. Simply stated, I think you have to look at that as a missed opportunity. And this one recovered by the hands team for the Ravens. Uh, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number, kind of like Coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Now Lamar changing the look. On first down, they go back to Mitchell. And not much of a hole there as he gets it down to about the 24-yard line. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. Now Jackson on second down. They're able to locate Andrews here on the out route. And able to get this down inside the 15, either the 13 or 14 before he's out of bounds. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. On the counter, Mitchell. And Bill dozing his way through. And he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. A great effort there. His second touchdown of the night. And the Ravens will add to their fourth quarter lead. Tucker able to connect on the extra point. And that makes this a nine-point game. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. From his end zone, here comes Carter. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled at the 15. The Las Vegas offense ready to start this next drive. And you figure after giving up that last touchdown, you know, they trail by two scores here in the fourth quarter. This drive becomes very critical. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. When you're leading in the final quarter, your radar has to be up for any potential deep shot. And probably not the last one they're going to see in this game, not as long as they hold this lead. Second and ten. O'Connell working from the gun. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. A couple of quick incompletions, and now they're just one more away from getting off the field. They've got options now. Could they dial up a blitz here and just drop everyone into coverage to crowd the throwing lanes? Throwing, O'Connell. He finds his man complete. It's Jacobs. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. All three timeouts plus the two-minute warning. Here's first and ten. Eluding the pressure right. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. He started out having some troubles back in the first half connecting with his receivers. Really hasn't gotten a whole lot better. Yeah, he's at less than 50%, and you and I both know that just won't do. So I would think about spreading things out, putting it on the receivers, make them win those one-on-one -on -one battles on the perimeter and find their way open. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Kyle Hamilton picks it. 
if they had designs of kind of wiggling their way back.